Okay, so uh, we're going to start by removing these 10 millimeter bolts right here. Okay. I already got one of them out. Here's the other one. The reason I'm removing those first because, uh, let's see, if you look down there, I have to take off this other 10 millimeter, the one that actually the fluid goes through. So I can get to that a little easier if this was out of the way. So I'm going to remove these two, move the uh, reservoir for the brake fluid to the side. I'm going to loosen that line down there. And then I'm going to see if I disconnect the reservoir from the uh, clutch master cylinder or just pull it out all together and uh, worry about taking off the reservoir and all that after it's off the car. But for now, just remove these two tins. Take that line off down there. It's a 10 millimeter. You're supposed to use a, I think they call it a, um, they call it a pipe wrench or something like that. It'll be easier to break it loose, but I don't have one. So I'm going to use a regular 10 millimeter and uh, just try not to strip it. All right, so once those are off, I'll be back at you. All right, so now that we have these two 10 millimeter uh, bolts off here, we got to go on the inside and where these studs is right here there's going to be two 12 millimeter nuts on the inside that's holding it so uh let's go check it out all right we now under the car sorry for the lighting gotta hold a flashlight and try to get this but uh as you can see where the light is shining that's the clutch master cylinder it's connected to the clutch pedal to the right hand side if I get a little closer. Where the light is shining right there. I'm sorry about that, but right there, it's a 12 millimeter nut that's on the stud. If one there, and if one on the other side of this bronze bracket, you can uh I'm not gonna be able to get it from my angle. You can kind of see it, but there's only two. So it's one right here on the right, and then there's one on the left. I'm loosening those two um, 12 millimeter uh, nuts. And then, let's see here. Sorry, once again. If you look up, uh, get the light right. There we go. There's a pin. That pin right there that's coming off the uh, Clutch Master cylinder. It has a cotter pin on it. Just pull the cotter pin off. It's a flexible piece of metal. You can just bend it straight and pull it out. And that pin that's going through, you can see right here. Come on, light. Yeah, right there. You see the hole? That's where the cotter pin go through. So pull the cotter pin, cotter pin out. And then that pin right there, you just push it through the other side. The other side is like a square so it doesn't spin. And you just pull that cotter pin out. And then it'll disengage from the uh, clutch pedal. So let's get the new one on and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, so now that we have the clutch master cylinder out, got the old one and the new one on the floor. We're gonna um, try to bleed it while it's out. It's called like a bench bleed. I'm not gonna record that because honestly, I don't really know how to do it. So I don't wanna look crazy. But I'll show you how it look once we put it back in. And uh, it's just a reversal of taking it off. So um, we'll show you that next. So I'm going to put the new one back in and adjust it to where it reached the pedal. Because it has an adjuster on the end. And you have to adjust it right to where it reaches the pedal. So you can uh, put the pin back through. And the cotter pin on the other side to maintain it. So let's get the new one back on. Well, that's a lot better. I don't know what the hell was happening with my phone earlier. You could hardly see. I don't even need a flashlight. What the hell just happened? Anyway, this is a new phone. I don't know how to operate it, but I just got a clear shot with my phone. This looks good. I don't, I don't even know how I did that, but uh, as you can see, it's back together. Got the nut on here. Damn, I'm trying to get you close to it. Uh, 
There we go. That's the pin that holds the clutch master cylinder onto the clutch pedal. As you can see, the, rod, the pin is pushed through and that metal that's wrapped around it is the cotter pin. So that's all back together. This screw is still loose because once you put this on here, you have to bleed it. And once you bleed it, you have to adjust this rod for your uh, clutch engagement. Make sure it's engaging correctly. And the way you do that is you're going to loosen this nut right here. And then this rod, a turn uh, either clockwise or counterclockwise to see how your clutch engages. Um, you usually could spin it with like some uh, needle nose pliers, but try not to grab it from the back because usually when you grab it with pliers and try to twist it, you'll scar up this metal. And as this metal gets scarred up, when you step on the clutch pedal, that scarring will go inside the clutch master cylinder and there's a seal. And this rough metal will cut that seal and it'll start to leak. So try to grab it with the pliers as far up as you can. So way up here won't make it back far enough to go inside and cut the seal. But if you hold it back here and mess up this metal rod and make it rough, once you step on the clutch pedal, that'll go back and uh, scar up the, uh, uh, possibly cut the seal that's on the inside right here. So that's it, folks. It's a nut here. Let's see if we can get around to the other side. That other nut that I couldn't show you earlier. Uh, yeah, there we go. It's back there. It's the second nut back there on your left-hand side. So it's one there and one there. And that's it. And got the rod. And that's it, y'all. Let's take a look outside. It's just a reversal. All right, so... Now, out here, all you have to do is take this line, put it back in there, you know, push that down, thread it back in, take the reservoir, line it up with the holes right here, put those two 10 millimeter nuts back in there, fill it with fluid, and bleed it. And that's all, y'all. So, I'm pretty sure there's uh, videos on how to bleed it. Uh, basically, once you put that line back on there somebody inside the car pumped the pedal uh just say five six times and it should get a little pressure but if not um tell them to hold it down and then you'll go out here to the slave cylinder down there you want to loosen this bleeder let the air out tighten it they'll pump it again Tell them to hold the pedal to the floor, let the air out, and you want to keep doing that process until there's nothing but fluid coming out of here instead of air bubbles. So just make sure it's pure fluid, no bubbles in it. And that's how you bleed it. So until next time, if you have any questions, leave a comment at the bottom. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Y'all have a good one. Like, subscribe. Check y'all next time.